Good morning, this is Coach Jackson, and today we're making a delicious, easy recipe called Turkey Meatloaf Muffin. The main part that's hard is getting everything out, but once you're prepped, it's very, very easy. Number one, always make sure your oven is on 375 degrees. You'll be cooking the muffins for about 40 minutes. This recipe comes straight from Jamie Eason. She's a fitness model on a lot of different websites and things like that. But basically it's one of her recipes and it's very easy. The first thing we do is we take ground turkey, it's two pounds, and we put it into the bowl. So just the ground turkey. I like to do the 93 lean, 7% fat. Um, you can also do organic. Anything is just gonna mix easy. So then we go next, after we eat the turkey, three egg whites. So we're gonna take our egg, and I like to separate the yolk out. And that one did not go so well, that's okay. It's not gonna hurt to have some yolk. Yolk is healthy for you. Even though they talk about sometimes it's not healthy, yolk is actually good for you. But you can separate out the yolk and the egg white will drop right in the bowl when you're ready. So there's two. And I need just one more here. So we have one more. Crack it right here. Get just the egg white, keep the yolk here. If you separate them from shell to shell, it will drop the egg white right into the bowl. And then the yolk can go on the side. So we have our turkey. We have three egg whites. We have two pounds of turkey. One cup of quick oats. I prefer the grain miller's oats, or you can use any other kinds of oats. Just sprinkle it into the bowl. Basically what we're doing is we're mixing everything together. Then we're gonna go for a little bit of mustard. Two teaspoons of yellow mustard. Sorry, I got my teaspoon out and I can't find it anymore. So we're just gonna squeeze it in. Do one. And yellow mustard in, just right into the bowl. So we have our yellow mustard here, two teaspoons. We're gonna go two teaspoons of black pepper. So with my black pepper here, two teaspoons. I have my half teaspoon here, so I'm going to go four half teaspoons. So one, black pepper in. Two, three, and four. All right, we got four, so two teaspoons of black pepper. We have two tablespoons of garlic. Ooh, lots of garlic. Yum, garlic is delicious. So two tablespoons of garlic. You can use garlic powder or fresh garlic, either one. Just put it into the tablespoon. And in goes the garlic. Two tablespoons. Oh, it's smelling good right here, boys and girls. Folks, smelling good. All right, then we have two chopped up celery stalks and one small onion. And guess what? In it goes. Just pour it in on top. Make sure you get everything out of the bowl. So that was two stalks of celery and one small onion into the bowl. And now we are just going to mix it all up with our hands, mix it up, get the oats and the onions and the celery mixed in with the ground turkey and the egg whites, we're just gonna hold it in place with the oats. So mix it up, we wanna make sure that we get all that goodness into each muffin. If we don't mix it well, then we're gonna have some muffins that are very, very flavorful, some that might even be too strong, and others that are just gonna be taste just like ground turkey. So we mix it up here, get it really good. It doesn't take very long at all to get it mixed up. Just wanna make sure you have the pepper and the garlic. And if you, sometimes people use cumin and things like that, I don't know that big, fan of cumin, so I don't use the cumin, but some people do that or use a little bit of thyme, or you could add some celery salt or some onions or something. So brush off the meat off your hands, get it ready.
wash your hands if you need to to do the next part. Make sure your hands are washed and dry. We're going to grab a muffin tin. We are going to take a spray and we're just going to spray the muffin tin. Make sure that the each part of the muffin tin is nice and covered in the spray so that the muffin will not stick in the pan. So make sure it's nice and sprayed and covered. You can also do tin foil if you would like. I like to just spray it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our concoction of ground turkey, celery, onions, spices, and we're gonna make it into a muffin shape. We're just gonna put it right into the muffin tin. So kind of pack it together, putting the muffin tin in a ball and it will make you a delicious turkey meatloaf muffin. So again, we're gonna pack that up, put it right into the muffin tin. And it might not look the best, but I know people who have tried them say they are excellent. And I've had even given to my students before at school, and they'd be like, oh, Mr. Jackson, you have your meatloaf muffins, your meat muffins. And they'd always want to try them, and I'd give them one, or I'd just be eating them during class because it was a great quick snack. Low carb, high protein, not a lot of calories, very tasty and flavorful. Sometimes if I didn't have time to pack a lunch and I had some of these, I'd just grab them and take them with me. And I could eat them all day long, and it was a great way to get some nutrients and protein to tie me over until I got home to have a regular meal. Or sometimes this could be your meal because you could do this with a nice salad or with even some potatoes or something and this could be your meal. So you put in yours. If you have a little bit extra, you can go to the top and just put a little bit more in there. If you want, you can even get a second pie tin because you don't want to get super full. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the oven for 40 minutes. So we're gonna stick it in the oven here, 40 minutes. And in 40 minutes, you will see some delicious turkey meatloaf muffins. If you have any questions, please, if you have any questions, you can look up Jamie Eason's turkey meatloaf muffins, or you can ask me in Dojo or text me or something and ask me and I would be happy to answer any questions you have but really just type in online turkey meatloaf muffins very easy have a great day and we will see you later bye everybody